Not everybody has a supercar. 99.995% of us normal people have a normal car, like a Kia Soluto. It can be a Honda Civic, can be a Honda City, can be a CRV, can be a Jazz. Normal cars that normal people buy. Uh, I'm gonna dispel a little bit of the, some of the more popular myths out there that I keep hearing over and over again, such as number one. Walang kwenta emode yan kasi hindi turbo. That's wrong. Walang kwenta emode yan kasi automatic. That's also wrong. This Soluto is both non-turbo and it's an automatic. And it's a small 1.4 engine. But that doesn't mean we won't be able to make additional power from it. Don't expect earth-shattering, Mustang-level, supercar-levels of power. Of course, not. that's really unrealistic. But taken as a percentage of what the stock car is making, it is significant enough that you can feel it and more importantly it makes the car more enjoyable to drive so let's open up the hood to see what we can do well looks like a Kia Rio and it also looks like a Hyundai Accent uh, not very surprising because this car is built on exactly the same platform uh, one of the few ways that we're able to tell that the car is the same platform or a few things. There are things called hard points in the chassis and these things mean that they can never be changed from car to car. So if two cars have the same hard points, that means they're the same platform. Uh, the most telling is because we've tried it already before. This is a strut bar. This is made for a Hyundai Accent. We've tested it so it fits. So that simply tells us that the distance between here and how it's screwed on even the bolts here they are exactly the same as an accent the engine itself is a telling point also that the 1.4 liter here is found in the rio is found in the accent so it's found also here in the saluto so it's the same thing so with that out of the way uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing out the intake so we'll be removing this one the stock airbox here this big rectangular plastic thing we're going to be replacing it with a cane and cone filter uh, the other thing that we're is we're going to be replacing the header which is this one here here at the back we'll be replacing it with a 4-1 header which yes it will get rid of the catalytic converter but at the same time no you will not fail emissions no you will not fail registration you will still be able to register the car and it will give you some power and last but not least we will be installing a uni chip to be able to tune the computer box of the car which incidentally is this little thing over here <laughs> this one over here this is the entire computer box of the car it's that small. Those are the three things that we're gonna be doing. And power-wise, I'm looking at around 12, 15, maybe 18 horsepower more. Okay, we are done with our Kia Soluto budget car mod. <laughs> As you saw a while on the dyno, even I was surprised, made quite a bit of big power. Uh, we started at 83 horses and then we ended up with 112, Third, almost 30 horses. That's very surprising for a 1.4 engine. Uh, normally, we don't see any of these things. <laughs> We've been reading horsepower numbers and brochures ever since cars started having all of these numbers but just to put it into perspective on what exactly does 30 horsepower equal to because it's not exactly something that you can lift on your hands, feel how heavy it is or any of that. Uh, here's a good example that I always like to use. You see one of these scooters over there? That thing is around 5 to 6 horsepower. So 30 horses is adding 6 of those things to your car. On a more uh, practical note, Let's put it to a 30 horsepower is 
80% of what a Toyota Wigo makes because a Wigo makes only about 40, 45 horsepower. So that's another perspective that you can look at. Or 30 horsepower is equal to literally 30 caballo. 30 horses. You have to pulling your carriage instead of one horse. Because that's the original meaning of horsepower anyway. But all of that simply translates to now that our little 1.4 engine has a lot more power now, it's comparable actually to the bigger engine cars, meaning Civic 1.8, uh, Lancer 2.0, uh, Elantra 1.8. So it has as much horsepower as those cars. But that doesn't mean if you have that much power, you'll consume fuel like a 1.8 or a 2 liter. No. It's like that actually. With everything that we've done, we've increased the efficiency of the engine so it breathes easier, air goes in easier, air goes out easier. We've tuned the air fuel ratio and the spark timing as well. All of this pretty much translates to about 8 to 10 percent better mileage if you're driving it normally. The reason why that happens is because with the response that we get now, you don't even have to step on the pedal that much to get the same amount of power. So before you step on the pedal this much, you get this power. Now you, it's only half and you get the same power. Run it through one more time what we have done here. So the first things first is we took out the stock airbox. We changed it with a cane and cone filter, which is basically just this one, a cone and a tube. And there's a breather hose here that has to go back. Advantage of having this is the air goes in more freely. It filters the air, the dirt particles from going to the engine at the same time the material is less restrictive and allows the engine to breathe easier. So that's step one. And the next step is what we did. We changed out the stock headers to a equal length 4-1 design. So these are the four exhaust headers. Um, these are the four runners. So all of them are as equal in length as possible to get good maximum flow of the exhaust going out to the stock. Oh, by the way, the rest of this car still has stock exhaust. So there is virtually no change in sound. If this is the setup, it will sound exactly the same, it'll just go faster. And the last step that we have is, of course, the unit chip, which is this one. What this does is basically it wires in through here. This is the computer box. The long and short of it, this is tu engine tuning in the computer age. Tuning before is, may carbo daror ka, papalitan mo yung jetting, and then pinipihit pihit mo yung spark plug distributor. This does exactly that but through computer because obviously there's no distributor anymore here there's no carburetor either everything is controlled through the computer and we need the unit chip to be able to interface with the stock computer so we give commands to this one then this one commands the ecu to say oh add more fuel subtract more fuel add more timing reduce timing so on and so forth the long and short of it is that we're able to get a better air fuel mixture to extract the maximum amount of power that our little 1.4 engine can do and whatever we did here today is applicable throughout not just the Hyundai Kia range of vehicles but pretty much any small engine whether it comes from a Jazz, a Brio, a Vios, Civic 1.8, any four-cylinder engine pretty much this is what we do as a first step package if you want more power. So we change out the intake, we change out the header and then we tune it. So no, just because don't believe any of these people who tell you na ah malita makina yan walang kwenta mode yan they're wrong and yung sapa um ah, yung makina mo automatic yan wag mo mode yan they're also wrong don't listen to them any engine on planet earth can be modified to make more power don't let anybody tell you otherwise